my guinea pig. All right, well, tell you what, we'll move this down a titch, which is a unit of measurements. And Phil, can I call you Phil or Philip? Which do you prefer? Ah, uh, Phil. Phil, Phil is okay? Phil is okay. You're going to select red or blue. You notice I reversed it. I should have said red or blue. Whichever one you select will work with first. So just name any uh, color, red or blue. Okay, red. Red is good. Red is good. What we're going to do is I'm going to share with you the difference between a magician and a mentalist or mind reader, mentalist slash uh, mind reader. A magician would arrive at a selected card through sleight of hand. A mentalist would arrive at a selected card purely mentally. So we're going to do the, the magic thing first, simply because I can. And we're going to, I assume this is pretty, um, pretty clear, going to grab a number of cards from the, about the center of the deck, if that's all right with you. And I'm going to hold them up. It doesn't matter if I see them. It's more important, Phil, that you pick one mentally. Don't, don't tell me right now which one it is, but look at this handful of cards and decide in your mind, keep it very clear on one card. Do you have that already? Uh, yep. All righty. So we're going to place those back in the middle of the deck. And now as a magician, because I'm both, I'm a magician as well as a mentalist, I'm going to have to, it'll be my job, to place your card, the card you've seen, the one that you would like to have me find in a specific place in the pack. So what was that card you remembered, Phil? I'm going to tell you, yeah, um, it was the Jack of Spades. Oh, thank goodness you remembered. Okay, so let me just, there. We're going to spell out Jack of Spades, J, A, C, K O F S P A D E. There it is. Jack yeah. It Jack really is the Jack, Jack of Spades. Now, we'll just place this aside. As a mentalist, I would have to prove to you that I knew all along that you were going to in advance. I knew that you were going to pick the Jack of Spades. Remember, this blue pack was sitting there the whole time. We're going to do essentially the same thing. It was Jack of Spades, J-A-C-K-O-F-S-P-A-D-E. Huh, the there it is. Spades. There we go. So like that is the difference between a magician and a mentalist. One uses mind power and the other one uses sleight of hand. Thank Thanks. you so much, Phil. <laughs> I do. I do have what I call an experiment of the mind. Going to use a slate simply because I love that 1800s thing. I could use a dry erase marker and, and whiteboard and, and some acts I, I do, but I mostly love working with slates. The imagery on there, the white on black is more dramatic, I find. So I'm going to make a prediction. I won't share it with you right now. Ron, you can you can uh, be the guinea pig in this one. There. I won't. I don't want to influence anybody yet. So I will leave the prediction here, which we will look at at the end. We'll use we'll use this deck of cards. And I'm just wondering who wants to help. I guess we've got Ron um, or Joseph. Go, go, what Ron. I'm going what I'm going to do is I'm going to deal the cards one at a time, like this. And I want you to say stop at any time. Wherever you say stop, we'll look at the face down card. Stop. 
So this will be it. And I sure hope, I believe it did work. And you could have stopped me anywhere. We'll place this car just off to the side. I want to emphasize that they're all, they were all different and well mixed. The card you stopped at was the seven, the seven of diamonds. And I want to show you the hunch that I had just before we started. The, the, the very same seven of diamonds. There brilliant. we go. <laughs> Absolutely you. brilliant. I've watched <laughs> you drawing on that slate. Ah, I was going to give you a choice, but I'm thinking, um, how's our time? How much longer do we uh, we we one. have? We've will we have time for two or one more trick? We've for got example? time for as many as you like. If you'd like two, we can do two. Ah, okay. So I'll do um, I'll do one. And to be honest, I saw the amazing Kreskin do this one. Um, it was originally in the 70s. I never forgot it. And then I recently found it on YouTube and I thought, I can do this. And what he does is he has three people up on stage. I won't need three. I'll just need one person to help me with this. I'm going, I'm going to, going... Because, I, because I'm a magician, I will, I will actually put you up with Ron. Just, uh, okay. Here we go. Because he doesn't know anything about magic. Which is great. I know what I like. <laughs> Ron, you, you don't mind helping me, do you? Not at all. Not at all. Excellent. So I'm going to, I, I'm only going to use the hearts. Yep. I don't know why, but that's the way Kreskin did it. Uh, maybe because it narrows things down. I honestly don't know why we're merely using all the hearts in a, a deck of cards, only the hearts. And one of them, let's see if I can find them. One of them, and one of them only, has an X on the back. And I'm going to try, I, I don't know if I'll succeed or not, going to try to influence you in such a way, non-verbally, where you select the card, the one card with the X on it. And I don't know if that's going to work or not. So I'm going to have you randomly. In fact, I'll turn this over so you're not influenced in any way, shape, or form. Start calling out at random heart cards. For example, a three of hearts, a jack of hearts, a four of hearts, and so forth. And stop where it feels right. Normally, I'd have a third person, such as um, yourself, Joseph, yep. say, uh, say stop. Um, if you want to do it that way, it would be appreciated. So perhaps then we'll get Ron randomly say hearts, six of hearts, eight of hearts, two of hearts, eight of whatever, yep. and wherever it feels right. And we've prearranged nothing. Is that correct, Joe? Joseph. That is absolutely correct. We've not prearranged anything. I can guarantee you 100% there have been no rehearsals for this show. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> That's true. There could never be a prearranged anything. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Which is a good thing. I, I love spontaneity. So let's go for it, Ron. Start naming cards randomly. Hearts. Eight of hearts, six of hearts, seven of hearts, three of hearts, two of hearts. Ace of hearts, queen of hearts, jack of hearts, nine of hearts, ten of hearts, Stop. eight of hearts. Eight of hearts. Eight of hearts? Was there any reason in particular, Joseph, that you uh, you stopped him there? Was it actually the eight of hearts you had in mind, or did you just randomly say stop because it felt I right? Just, I just randomly said stop. I'm going to show something, and our audience out there in, in Facebook land... They may or may not believe it. At least we prearranged nothing. And Ron was going by so quickly, it would have been impossible if we had prearranged this for Joseph to get the card anyway. So I'm going to share something with you. It was the eight, the eight of hearts. And believe it or not, the only card amongst all the hearts with that X on it. 
No. It's phenomenal. The, earlier in the trick when you said it was all hearts, I randomly thought eight of hearts in my head. This is and, one I, I have to take credit for. I, I don't... I've been published a number of times in the Linking Ring magazine and MUM magazine. Every five, 10 or 20 years, I come up with something and and it's apparently worthy of publication. Um, this has never been published. I consider it my own. And it, it came out of a trick that I did on Kevin's show, Kevin Peel's show, either the Tuesday or the Wednesday night show. And um, we have about a week, like we try stuff out on the open mic magic show, or at least I do. And then I have almost a week until the Tuesday night one to perfect it. That's how I work anyway. And I either just repeat the, the same thing I've done before with a different assistant, or I try to tweak it. This is something that I did tweak, and um, which sounds funny, tweak. Uh, like Tweedledum and Tweedledee and was tweaked the third one? I don't know. Nonetheless, we're going to take a journey through a grocery store in a moment. I want to call attention. It's not too visible. Um, I hope you can see this little black envelope. I should have actually yep. used a different colored one. There's a prediction or a hunch, if you will, in there. Kreskin hated to say predictions. He loved saying hunches. He doesn't believe in predictions. But I've come up with different cards, colorful cards. This one says business card. This one, I don't even know what it says anymore. Cash register receipt. Mm -hmm. And we have moolah. We have money. And we have the grocery list. And it's sort of in a chronological order of sorts. Um, Ron you mind if I call you Ron? No problem at all. Okay. Uh, if indeed Ron is your real name. Yeah. Um, we're going to go on a bit of a journey through a grocery store. So we're going to imagine that we've gone in through the front door. Or if it's late at night through, you know, a hole we've drilled and, and broken in. No, we're, we're going to pretend it's daytime. We've gone in. We're looking around. We've gotten a shopping cart. We're going to pick up some items that we need. And this is one of those grocery stores that has, oh, they may have bathroom tissue there and they might have um, uh, produce over there and they might have pharmaceuticals over there. So we're, we're going through these various departments looking for different things. And now we're ready to check out. So we do. We either self-check out which I find really annoying. I, I, I have no patience to wait in line, but I love just checking myself out. But then I think, well, that takes away jobs too from people who potentially could be working at the cash register. So we've looked at our grocery list. We've gone and picked up the items. Now we're about to either pay with money or a credit card. Money is one of the cards. Um, we get a cash register receipt after. And just on our way out, as we're heading out, we do see a bulletin board. And perhaps we're either taking someone's business card or we're uh, placing our own business card on there. I'm going to ask you, if you will, Ron, which one of those cards, which one of those acts that we just pet perpetuated or uh, performed, if you will, stands out? Is it business card? Is it cash register receipt? Is it money? Is it grocery list? Which one of those seems to have stood out? And if this works, it'll be a miracle. People watching on Facebook, we pre-planned nothing, Ron and Joseph. Again, I, I didn't coax you. I didn't say, oh, we're, we're going to do this. You, you had no clue even what we were about to do. So which one of these stands out? The business card. The business card. Was that the last one? Yep. The business card does stand out. And we'll see what goes on here. We're going to turn the business card over thusly. We're going to also 
if you don't mind, show the other ones. Why, you ask? Because the business card was the only one with the X on it, but not only that, the prediction I made, it's quite a miracle. I'm going to pull this out. It's my own business card, but it's the only thing in this little envelope, the business card to match what you did say as well. So Very thank good. you so much, Ron. Very good.